with Victorious Creative Crafts coming to you to show you all the good stitchy stuff, all the mania stuff, the hauls, the the racks. I got some racks, ladies. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Uh, got got a, a FFO as well. So anyway, um, without further ado, I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers that have come to me and watched my floss tubes and me and my southern silly self. I mean, you know, I no frills and thrills here, but you know, I hope you enjoy yourself and uh, thank you for coming and watching and seeing what all I have going on, you know, from week to week to week. So uh, I appreciate you coming. And I uh, want to play uh, catch-ups because I think we're calling some of them mentions and shout-outs. And I don't know. They're coming up with all kinds of names for this stuff now. So uh, I think I had said back earlier I was going to try to start using catch-up. So, um my first catch-up would be uh, Cheryl McKinney from Tran Tranquil Stitches. I enjoy watching you. I enjoy listening to you. Thank you for the shout-out. And uh, I, I love a lot of your works. You got some really nice, nice works. Um, also, you made mention in your very first video that you are um, living in your grandmother's home. I used to live in my grandmother's home as well. And we did a lot of... Uh, reworking works on it and that kind of stuff and uh raised my two stepdaughters in it for a little while and my daughter uh our daughter his and ours that's what it is his and ours uh raised our daughter in the home and then uh, we actually sold that home and then moved to the uh, city that i'm in now so we've been away from that home for 20 years so it's hard to get used to a new home. It really is. It, you know, I grew up in that in that home. So kudos to you and your husband for fixing it up. And I know what you mean when you got power stuff going wrong, water stuff going wrong. Everything's got to be updated. So uh, anyway, good luck on that. Um, okay, I want to move on to uh, another lady I've been watching. Uh, some new 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 people trying to trying to follow a lot of new ladies and you know give them encouragement everybody has given me encouragement on on the floss tubes and watching you and you know you, you all we all link together at some point we're a wonderful community and i love supporting each other along that along that process so um another little shout out catch up i want to do is uh to cross my stitches jackie i have thoroughly enjoyed watching you you I have to write everything down. That's what I'm looking at. So I have to, you know, read everything. You had mentioned something in, in one of your videos, and I'm trying to write down what number the video is, and I forgot which one it was. But you mentioned where back in the day people did round robins where they would, um, back then that I remember, was scrapbook on some stuff or a book or uh a binder or something like that where someone someone would scrapbook something and then we would put it in the mail and send it to the next lady and they would scrapbook something on it and then it would go on around and you know sometimes those things travel across the states and back which is just you know your original piece may be gone for you know a couple of months time you know frame but when them when them things return, I mean they are so pretty. I mean I I know what you mean on that. I actually have um something in my collection that uh, we did back in the day. I don't think we had few too many ladies in it, but I did the same thing with scrapbooking and got a little spiral notebook back with um, eight or nine ladies that had uh, did a two page spread on it. And I believe those things are trying to come around now in the um, cross stitch community so you know i would love to be involved in something like that so uh if anybody else out there hears of those things you know try to try to you know email me tag me on something and i would love to you know jump in on that something and um i think a, a, a really nice one would be where everybody could stitch a little 10 inch square and put their initials in it and let it travel and come back or you know make it look like a little mini quilt or you know, where everybody started one, and then everybody stitched on it, and then when they all came back to the owners, everybody got one back. You know, that's that's the way that works. So, um, yeah, I would love to get in on that. So, Jackie, that was awesome. You know, brought back memories on that. So, thank you. 
also wanted to say you had um mentioned something else about stitching in the well i had wondered the same thing myself why some some stitchers i had to pull out my work some stitchers stitch in the bottom side and some stitch on the top side or or this is their top side and this is the bottom side i i wondered the same thing myself so i'm glad you clarified that that uh it makes it easier to stitch on and then when you're tying off your threads you flip it over and it's big and you know flat and you're able to get to it so i appreciate you clar clarifying that for me because i i'm i'm new you know floss tube number eight so i'm new on this too so thank you for clarifying that for us for us new stitchers and, and not knowing knowing exactly what that is um also i have um Robin from Sampler Bird. Um, I don't mention last names because I don't want to get in trouble with nobody. They don't like last names unless you don't have a a floss tube, you know, name yet. You know, we'll go from there. But uh, Robin, she's right now. She's got three floss tubes up, and she's from Michigan. I'm getting a sinus cold. She has a lot of projects. She has a bunch of finished items. Uh, I started watching her, and I watched her all the way through, one, two, and three, back to back, and she has some gorgeous work, so, you know, um, wow, she's been stitching a while, so that's, that's a good thing, so I think we can all learn a lot from her, so, uh, reach out to Robin and follow her, her, like I said, her thing is, uh, floss tube is sampler bird, so let's reach out to her and, and get an eye on her and see what's all going on in her neighborhood, okay? Uh, then, then I ran up on Sarah Elliott. She is, uh, she's from Tennessee. She currently lives in Tennessee. Her floss tube channel name is Sarah Elliott. She's working on a new name. Uh, she, it's her and her husband and CJ the dog. I agree. You know, got them family, them family babies and fur babies. I have two myself. Uh, kids are grown and gone and, you know, not gone. They're across town and in a adjacent town but they're not here nearby so that's why i got all this stuff in here to you know to keep us busy right but yes i have two fur babies also so cj i'd like to see you in some future future uh floss tubes uh helping mama out so that would be awesome she she said that she had moved from uh georgia to virginia to tennessee and lived in excuse me, several places, so, you know, that's awesome, I mean, you you come from Georgia, too, I'm from Georgia, so, you know, come on, hook up with me, and maybe we'll, uh, swap some charts, or patterns, or something, bags, I mean, we can do all kinds of stuff, so, good, good luck to you, and all your charts that you got going on in Mania, and good luck with everything as well, so, um, uh, awesome, keep, keep it going, keep it going, um, I have one, I'm calling, FFO in process. Can we say that? I hope we can. So anyway, I'm going to call it in process. Back in the day, this was my first chart that I did. My very first one. I did it on some uh, 28, I believe it was 28 count. Something from the store. I just picked it up. Didn't know what it was or nothing. I've showed it. Picked up this other little thing uh, from uh, Goodwill. And I put this on some of the sticky fiber, sticky, not fiber, what do you call it, stuff, sticky, sticky board, sticky foam board, core board, whatever, it's sticky on one side, tucked all that thing around on the back side, hot glued, hot glued that thing on, I don't, I don't intend on taking this off, and uh, I was trying to use Vana's uh, process for twisting the thread and put it around the edges, I have not done that yet, so it's not quite fully FFO'd, but I will be doing it, and then I'm doing a Priscilla and Chelsea, just leave the price sticker on the back of it, so we'll just hang that thing on the wall, won't nobody ever see it, but we'll know, my goodness, I paid a dollar fifty one for that, and if somebody else bought it for six dollars and eighty seven cents, so, you know, who knows, but it had a deer burnt, burnt out picture thing on the front of it, so anyway, there's my first FFO in process. <laughs> I'm going to call it that anyway. Um, one other thing I did want to mention, I noticed they started it up in January, and I think I showed mine in one of my early videos, but 
those orc containers. I hope y'all ladies are filling those things up with all this mania stuff going on. Here's mine. This is one of those little dollar ornaments from Walmart. I intend on hanging that on my tree. Maybe I'll have me a Christmas tree here in my craft room, and every time I get through stitching some Christmas stuff or some small little ornament things, I'm going to hang that on that tree. So I keep this handy. My husband helps me out. He scrapes them up off the end table and pokes them in here or hands them to me. So, yeah, I hope to fill that thing up by the end of the year. That thing will be awesome. I, you know, can't go wrong with that. Uh, oh, yeah, I know who it was. Kelly from Joan and Kelly. The Joan and Kelly show. Kelly, thank you. You made, I don't remember, 60, I think you said, of your little Oort containers from your boxes cut out on the Cricut. Oh, girl, ain't no way I could do that. But I bet that's cute. I mean, that would be nice just to have a cute little box sitting around somewhere. It says Oort's 2016, Oort's 2017, 2018. I think that's a great idea. And I mean, you, you, you. And put your heart and soul into it and, and spread it the love along, you know, with someone else at the uh, at the retreat and stuff. That, that was an awesome little thing you did. That was really sweet. Shame I couldn't be there to get me one of them things. But anyway, I got some RAKs, racks. I uh, had a lady sent me a message and she said, um, she said, I want your email, uh, not your email, I, I would like to have your mailing address. She said, I, I've got something that I want to send you that I think you'll like. She uh, viewed my floss tubes and, and went from there. This came all the way from uh, California. That's good enough for you ladies. Cool looking card. I mean, that was a nice little card right here. Got a sweet little note in it. She said she's enjoyed my videos and... Uh, she likes my accent. I guess I have a southern accent. I ain't talk too southern, but I try. I do. I'm real, you know. I, I you know, I can't, can't not stop. I guess my video went blank. Anyway, she sent me some of the most prettiest things. Oh, sorry for the paper. I got some awesome floss. Look at that have you ever i'm sure a little bunch of you ladies have ever never have i ever owned any of this till today this came actually came in the mail about a week ago and i let her know that i got it these are from jodry designs can i show you that jodry designs and this is havana nights that purple and pink and then we got waterfall look at that blue and then we got firefly Woo. that stuff looks like cotton candy no wait a minute this one looks like cotton candy this is morning sun look at that that is just too pretty and then these are two fiberlicious threads it is wisteria Purple's my favorite color. Got me some purple. Ooh, I can't wait. And then this one is clown. And look at that green and purple and pink and yellow. Beautiful arrangement of colors. I thought these was awesome. Janet, thank you so much. I love it, love it, love it. I have your address, and I would like to swap something back with you just to say thank you and you know go from there that was wonderful thank you so much i will use that when i get up on the chart where i've got to have some variegation stuff going on in it i'm gonna hang them out where i can see them so i don't forget about them don't pack that stuff up away you ladies just hang that stuff up on the wall somewhere where you can see it and you say oh i want to use that so yes i'm gonna use that where i can put some really nice variegation in some of my in some of my work so um yes then I had a wonderful, wonderful thing that came up. It's a card with donuts. I don't eat many donuts. Can't eat donuts. Can't eat all that sweet stuff. Not supposed to have it. So, you know. A wonderful note inside um, telling me to enjoy it, enjoy it, and stitch it up and show it to me when you get through and that kind of stuff. This came from Christine. 
from Stitch All the Things. She had a haul, a, a pile of stuff from a friend of hers that had brought a bunch of stuff to her and was just blessed, blessed, blessed with stuff. I, I too, was blessed with a bunch of stuff. Christine had so much stuff, she just about didn't know what to do with all that stuff. I sent Christine a note and just asked her, I will pay shipping for something. I will pay for it because I thought that was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. She had a kit that had this Yorkie on it. I have a Yorkshire Terrier, and I'll insert a picture. Her name is Chloe. This little thing right here looks just like my little Yorkie. She's brown and black and got some light colors on her. It's a needlepoint kit, so don't, don't get all excited. It's a needlepoint kit. Sew that thing together, half stitches, tent stitches, is it half stitches? I intend to sew this thing together, and I will post it here on Floss Tube, because after all, it's some floss stuff, right? Christine, thank you for sending me that. I really do appreciate it. You was kind enough to just, just pawn that thing off on somebody else who would enjoy it, and I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to enjoy that, because I'm going to frame it and have my little Chloe Bell hanging up in here with me. Most of the time, she's under the table in her bed or something like that if it's nighttime, but it's daytime right now, so she's outside wandering in the yard, so that's what she likes to do. Uh, also, I wanted to mention one other thing. Uh, Jackie from the um, ooh, doo, 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 uh, Cross My Stitches, Jackie and I are swapping out a project bag. Ladies, y'all want to meet new people? I want to meet new people. We, You know, we may be across the country, across hundreds of miles, and that's okay. Jackie and uh, Leslie from Fat Cat Flossing, uh, one of the ladies there had mentioned that they were swapping out a project bag. Uh, Leslie was making a bunch of bags and uh, trying to sell those for a little extra spending money. And then um, Jackie said she does the same thing. So they swap, swapped bags out. And I actually asked Jackie, I said, hey, I like to make bags. I'm not making them to sell them. I might at a local craft fair. I think I might do something like that for this fall. So, you know, I got plenty of time coming this summer when them school's out. So, uh, Jackie, I, Jackie and I are swapping out a project bag. So, I thought that was great. She's going to send me one that she made. And I'm going to send her one that I made. We both told each other uh, in a message, you know, what we both like, what we don't like, that kind of stuff. So, you know, we can have a bag that would be nice. I, I mean, I thought it would be awesome. So, you know, reach out to someone. I, I mean, I did with Christine and I did with Jackie as well. So that's how I am learning people and meeting people and, and all that. So also I reached out to another lady, Sheila. Um, me and Sheila are, we kind of tight buddies. We, we talk back and forth on Instagram. We reached, she reached out to me and, uh, I've been reaching out to her. Wonderful lady. She, she's enjoyed things that I've done. We're showing each other our mania posts and, you know, what we've been stitching and that kind of stuff. So anyway, in October, there's going to be a, a sale coming up with the Hawk Run Hollow. So far, Jeannie Swartz, I think, is the other lady that is going to be trying to head this thing up. So, you know, we're all trying to support Jeannie on this. So it will be me, uh, Victoria's Creative Crafts, and then it's going to be Jeannie Schwartz. She's going to be in on it. And then uh, Sheila, she's on Instagram, so you can contact uh, her there. I, well, it's probably easier to contact Jeannie Swartz, I would think. Contact Jeannie. And then another friend of mine that I met on Facebook that saw my floss tube. She's not a floss tuber, doesn't have one either. Uh, her name is Pamela. So Pamela, Sheila, me, and Jeannie Swartz are going to all get together and uh, try to kick off a Hawk Run Hollow stitch along. I don't have one. I'm going to get one. It it don't matter what which, which one you have or anything like that. If you want to start one, then now's going to be the time. You know, that's one of them things that, you know, you start it and you stitch on it for a little while and you just put it up and then you bring it back out, that kind of thing. There's no deadline or anything. So um, I'm going to try to get closer with Jeannie and see if I can help, uh, help her along on this uh, sale that we're going to be trying to get in on so uh, right now 
uh, she doesn't even have doing a hashtag or anything yet that I know of. I haven't caught up on a video. She's got another video out right now. Hadn't got to it yet. So anyway, if you want to join in on that, tag uh, tag Jeannie Swartz or tag with myself, and I'll be glad to find out you know what's going on with that, and we'll pa pass that word along and keep going. So um, I have some Paul that I got. From Mother's Day. Hope everyone enjoyed their Mother's Day. Had a wonderful day. If you're not a mother to kids, you're a mother to somebody. I guarantee you, you have given some encouraging words to a child on the street, a neighbor on the street, a friend somewhere, uh, anybody. And some of us who don't have children at home, don't have grandchildren that are close by or anything like that, we are mamas, we are nanas, we are grandmamas to some fur babies, some cats, some birds, dogs, all kinds of little things. So, you know, don't don't discontinue, don't discount yourself on something like that. Um, you're, you're a teacher, I'm a bus driver, they my babies. Don't get on my bus, don't get on my school bus. They are my babies when they on my bus and I will take care of my babies, so... You know, I got little ones and I got middle school too. Middle school, they just like my grandkids, so it's okay. So you're a mother somewhere. Don't don't ever think you're not. You are a mother somewhere. So I had some little bit of haul on my Mother's Day. My husband took me out shopping on Saturday. We enjoyed the day on Saturday because on Sunday he said it's Mother's Day. We're gonna go home. You're gonna do whatever you want to do. Don't don't just go sit down and watch TV. And that's exactly what I did. We sat down and I watched TV. But during my haul on Saturday, went to Michael's and got these cute little frames. They got the clip, you know, the clip on them. They got this little stand that you're supposed to stick it in the hole in the back, and then you prop it up on the sh on the shelf somewhere, something like that. I'm gonna probably figure out how to glue something on the back and hang mine up. These little things right here are gonna house, hopefully, my. Farmhouse series. They're going to house that. I got two of them. Ooh, sorry about that. I got two of them. So, right now, they're in the dollar spot at Michael's. I thought that was, a, can't beat that for a dollar. I can paint them. I can stain them. Those are going to be really nice for something. And that's my plan right there. I got a cross stitch magazine. Hadn't even opened it up. We're not supposed to open that stuff or use that stuff till we show it off, right? We got to share it with everybody. I have no idea what month this is, year this is. You know how these things do. They pop out when, whenever. I think they're monthly, but, you know, sometimes they are and sometimes they ain't. They have special issues, so I don't know. But anyway, it's got a bunny rabbit on it. I can't even see. I can't even see the bunny rabbit on it. And, you know. Anyway, I'm going to try to stitch that. And the reason, the reason I actually got this, because when I picked it up, I looked at it, tried to figure out if I wanted it. I flipped that thing over and look at the back. Oh, my goodness. It's like that Chalk on the Home series stuff. That is so pretty. I love it. Looks like a lot of back stitching, too. But, you know, that's okay. I got to add something else to my list of things to do, right? Uh, I don't have any of the Chalk on the Home series. I, I would love to have some. I don't know why. I guess they were really they were real intimidating to me when I first seen them. They were gorgeous. My lo that, that stitch shop up in Marietta, they had them. I never bought one. The first one I saw was, I think it was Autumn, and it had a sunflower on it. And, and I wanted that thing, and I thought, where am I going to? Where do I find black fabric? You know, I didn't know how to do this stuff. And still don't. I'm still learning. So I, I think my intention is to go back and, and try to get those things and uh, and work with it. Because, uh, you know, Priscilla put a lot of time in those things. And, and Kathy, you know, she, she's put a lot of time with it too. So, you know, we support as many people as we can support, right? So I would like to get them, and one day I will get them. You know, don't count me out yet. Don't retire those things yet, Priscilla. Hang on, you know. <laughs> Hold on, let, let's give us a chance. Go back and get those things. So, uh, and, and if you haven't, she has released her Saturday video, because, you know, we all have to stop on Saturdays and see what they got going on. 
uh, Priscilla and Chelsea, they released their video and they showed the small of the um, the farmhouse series. The big one, I think, is coming Wednesday, and she may get it out Wednesday. It may be Thursday morning before the video gets uploaded, that kind of stuff. So she sent out a uh, tickler, as I guess I would call it, part of the uh, Chalk on the Home series. And um, I, I don't want to give it away. If you if you haven't seen it, you really need to go see it. I like the small pieces. Uh, I like the big pieces, too. I like how everybody has taken that truck and made small things. They put them chickens in different spots. They've made the barn, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, I don't want to give it away. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's so pretty. So, yes, I, I may have to just get those things. Call your local stitchy shop or somebody online or somebody can get you with get you one of them things. So other little thing I did get went to my local Goodwill found this thing laying over there for $3.93 our store does prices weird you know and then they write on everything with one of them markers so anyway I went over there and I saw this thing I thought well I'll be that is just too cute I'm, I hadn't even cleaned it up yet I said, I'm going to get that. I'm going to clean it up. I'm not going to paint it. I'm not going to do nothing with it. It's got the little key things already on it. And I'm going to hang that in my room with some pretty keys just to decorate something on. So, um, finally, finally found something else nice at the Dollar Tree. I mean, at the at the local Goodwill. Our Goodwill don't have a lot of stitchy stuff. Every now and then they will, but not a whole lot. So, um, anyway. Next thing I want to show you, my other little haul. I ordered from a lady, and that's something else I think I'm going to try to do. Y'all need to do this to other, you know, cross-stitchers out there. Uh, we don't know sometimes where do, where y'all purchasing this stuff, you know, outside of looking for where's a cross-stitch store near me, you know, or online. Everybody, you know, has these places online and, you know, that kind of thing and your favorite places or whatever. So, uh, y'all need to make lists of those. So, um, I'm going to try to do the same. So, my... Um, hot purchase spots is what i'm gonna call that little thing i'll even i'll even hashtag that thing hot purchase spots i'll look it up first so i had to be careful with them hashtags ain't no telling what you'll run up on uh i got something and i ordered stuff from um jamie the stitcher stash she's on facebook and I'm sure she'll be glad to let you join in and i will link her below but she has um Used to be brick and mortar type thing, but she doesn't have that anymore. You know, a lot of people can't afford the insurance on those things and that kind of stuff. So, uh, Jamie has uh, where you can purchase things from her uh, online. You can email her. I usually send her a text message that, hey, can you get me this or this? And approximately how much would it cost and shipping? You know, that kind of stuff. I asked her about the Hawk Run Hollow, and she's checking on it for me. So, you know, we got to reach out to these ladies that, you know, don't have big stores and don't carry supplies and, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe one day they will. I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But anyway, Jamie with the Stitcher Stash, she is the lady who I'm, I signed up to get my farmhouse series from. She had those things packaged up with the uh, material in it and the chart. And then she had the... Um, a bundle of the floss selling with it and everything so you know she a really nice deal on that stuff so i've really enjoyed that and she would ship it to me every month i don't have to worry about it she sends me paypal and i pay her good to go so she's one then the other lady i keep up with her name is jen and she also has a uh, facebook page uh it's called the whole stitch and caboodle so if you haven't checked that out on Facebook yet, you need to go check it out because she doesn't have a, a web page link or anything like that. She does on Friday nights, if she can, she does live Facebook videos, live Facebook, not a video, live Facebook, and she shows charts. I mean, she goes through and said, okay, I got this one, I got this one, we're going to sell out some charts and that kind of stuff, and you just tell her me, please, and keep keep right on going down the line we talk we chat we talk about people we have you know it's all live chat so you're you know in the chat room messaging each other and stuff so and she can see all of us so it's been great and i have gotten a lot of stuff through her so uh, like i said that's jen from the whole stitching caboodle she's on facebook too 
than the other lady. It's just something this week. I guess it, it is what it is this week. And then y'all don't forget Julie with Gulf Coast Stitches. She has gotten that new web page going down, going down. She started off small, just like the rest of us, you know, a little bit at a time, that kind of stuff. And she's finally grown into a wonderful looking web page where you can go and view her things that she's she's got room somewhere stocking that stuff for a little while till she sells every bit of it to us. I went and plundered around on there a little bit last night. I'm telling you what's the truth. She's got some beautiful stuff up there already. She's got new charts going on. So, you know, can't blame her. She's not going to keep a lot of stuff. She's not going to keep it forever, but she can get it for you too. So, uh, we got three ladies right there that are very small and, uh, you know, doing what they can. Uh, Julie, she's, I need to make a note of that. Julie's in Florida. Jamie from the Stitcher, Julie from Gulf Coast Stitcher, she's in Florida. Jamie from the Stitcher Stash, she is in Michigan. And y'all got to go to Facebook for her. And then Jen, the whole Stitch and Caboodle, she is in Kansas. I believe she said Kansas. I want to say Kentucky too, but... I believe she said Kansas. So, and she is on Facebook also with the whole stitch and caboodle. So, don't forget those ladies. And those are going to be my new hot, hot, hot purchase spots. Got that right. Okay. Anyway, as for my hot purchase spot, followed suit with the rest of you ladies. Got me that Lizzie Kate summer. Lizzie Kate winter. It's got all the little doodads in there. Guess I'm going to have to get a needle. I have to get a teeny tiny needle for those things, right? And then I got the autumn. And I already had the spring because spring came out early and, uh, you know, came out last, I think. So I got all three of those. Got those from Jen. And then I have, my husband said, I can't believe you got these. But anyway, I got this because it's done on purple. But I'm not really sure if I like it on the purple. It's gorgeous. I've never had a Sam Sarah. And I think a, a lot of ladies have showed other things with Sam Sarah, and she's got some cute little funky, quirky looking things. I love it. That's too cute, cute, cute. Got all them new new threads. I remember buying them things. I thought, whoa, they're too pretty to use. They're too pretty. I'm going to use them now because now I got something that tells me where to put them. Got that. And then my, this is what I was talking about. My husband said, why'd you buy that? I said, well, I bought it because I'm going to hang it up in my room because that, that's about like me. Move over. I got things I got to do. I got people I got to see. Stuff I got to stitch. <laughs> Love this. It's too cute. These are Marnik designs. They're from Canada. Um, they all use DMC uh, threads. Uh, requirement here is witch else. 28 count, 18 count, eight, 28 count antique white Doberlin. Uh, it's 77 by 44. It's not real big. I thought, what? What is it? Approximate design size, five and a half by three and a half. Yes, it's not big at all. I can't wait to start it. I see a fly. A fly could have gotten my house. Anyway, and here's my other one. Purple's my favorite color. I know some of you don't like purple. Purple is my favorite color. Right here in my room is purple. Look at this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. No, 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 no. Yes, when I'm old, I shall wear purple. I'm old, and I love me some purple. I am going to put some of that pretty floss. Look at this. I don't care what color that calls for, but that purple's going in there. I'm going to put some of that pretty floss in there. Yes, yes, yes. And this also is 77 by 80, so it's not very big either. And, you know, stitch it up, ladies. Got to have something pretty. Gonna stitch it up and have that thing hanging in my room. Yes, this is my room. My husband said, in your craft room, my, my den, my craft den, whatever you want to call it. Okay. All right. One other thing I wanted to show y'all. I had all that floss that was given to me, gifted to me, racked to me, whatever. I think I showed couple of pictures everywhere with that stuff everywhere just all scattered I'll I'll insert that picture here okay back now that thing took me 
probably about a week. And I did Stitch Mania while I did it, y'all. Just a little at a time. I wrapped these things up on school bus. That stuff in order. Look at him. I ended up with six containers full. I could probably stretch it to seven. Cram them babies right on in there. Put them things in numerical order. The current lady that had them, she had them all in color order, which was pretty. And that's the way I received them. Ooh, I couldn't take it. I couldn't find 729, 331, 651. I couldn't find them things. I didn't know what color they were. I just knew I needed a color. The, yes, the chart said something, but, you know, do you know how hard it is looking for something with color? So, anyway, they, they're in boxes. This is 318 to 4.99. Look at that. I had to get these things in order. So, you know, I couldn't help it. Sorry about that. I couldn't do nothing with it. I had to do something with it. And that's what I did with it. Put them things out. Wrapped them up. Then I got another little set of those. It goes all the way to 3,000. I got a box that's got all the 3,000. Then I got another set. I ain't done nothing with these yet. Look at that. These are rayons. They Silks, rayons, fancy floss. <laughs> I don't know what you call them, but these are so pretty they are they are soft they just shine look at that i mean they just sparkle they are too pretty this is a thirty thousand series i've never had anything like this i mean thirty thousand are you kidding me yes i got to wrap them up that's the last box that i've got to wrap up and also there was a couple of spools of some chronic in here and there's a silver a gold and this real pretty frosty color and it looks like snow wished i had that on my farmhouse christmases i probably would have stitched with that so yes i've got to wrap these babies up as well if y'all are in need of a color call me i got plenty uh, there's like three some of these have like three of each you know, two and three of the same color. So, that was gifted to me. And I, I don't know if I need to go through all these. A lady in my local town, we had a library sale. The, our local library does uh, book sales. So, I asked the lady that works there. And I said, if y'all got any cross-stitch books coming through for sale, like we need more stuff, right? I know. Well, I have to get it. I can't help it. She said, I don't know, but I know a lady that does some of that stuff. I said, okay. So she passed my name along, and the, and the, and the lady, she said, yes, I've got some stuff. So she ended up bringing me a few books. I got a couple more. They they craft books, and I think I'm going to try to pass these along. This is a, There's some stitchy stuff in here, and it's crafts. And then these is kind of like a needlepoint thing, you know, with needlepoint stuff in it. And then this one is the same, kind of the same with craft stuff. So I, I'm, I don't see anything in there that kind of jumped out at me. This is, um, this one did. Sampler motifs. Well, I'm telling you what's the truth. I've seen stuff in here. Excuse me. I saw stuff in here that looked like some of them things you ladies are making and stitching and buying. And, I mean... I'm just going to show you one. I'm not going to sit here and hold this book up. Look at that. That is just too pretty. I really like this. And I said, you know what? It's got the chart in here. And, and it's old. It calls for DMC. I, I might have a hard time trying to get to the chart. Because I have to show you some of it. Look at that. It goes right in the crack. I don't know how to get that out of there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, that was the sampler motif book. And then she had these. Um, this was Christmas Joys. It had some craft uh, cross stitch stuff. There was some really cute little uh, stockings. A couple of different stocking designs in that. And then, then this one was some Christmas uh, uh, cross stitch items as well. And, you know, they're... <laughs> It's old, yes, ladies, it's old, but there's things in here that we could take off. Some of these books are dated like 1980, and uh, so, yeah, Woman's Day. Everybody remember Woman's Day, Better Homes and Gardens, right? And then we had some, um, a little pamphlet here. 
folk designs. I don't know. Look, I mean, it's all black and white, so it was different. It was different. I like it. And I have flipped through it. I sat down and flipped through it. Teach yourself to cross stitch. I bet every one of us had this at some point, right? I bet every one of us had this. Color charts. Look at that. Open that thing up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't want to show it too quick. Don't want nobody freeze painting trying to steal the charts because this was Leisure Arts leaflet number 52. It was a dollar back in the day. And, you know, don't, don't steal nothing from people. Y'all don't do that kind of stuff. Anyway, might be some good ones in there. Here's another. This one is dated Scandinavian cross stitch from DMC. I saw, oh, I just saw a mushroom. I just saw a bunch of mushrooms. Look at that. Anyway, that's the front of this book. There's some cute little things in here. Look at that lady. Got that spinning wheel. So, yeah, that, I mean, I don't know how old this is or what, but definitely going to be flipping through that. And then I got one more Leisure Art Leaflet number 49. This one was $1.75. Look at that. This is kind of fall looking stuff. There's the back side. And you know, the little charts inside, they're cute little colored charts and that kind of stuff. Real easy to look for. So a lot of little motifs and stuff in that. So like I said, that local lady here in my town, she passed that off to me. She thought, well, here, you take this stuff. I don't want it. And we're going to pass it off to somebody else too, right? Definitely going to do that. Okay, I got Stitch Mania pictures. I'm going to insert my pictures in. Today is the 15th, May the 15th, and I've gotten stuff done all the way up to the 15th last night, 14th, last night. So I'm going to insert my pictures and uh, let you ladies see that. It'd be easier to just do that. So, But one other thing I did want to say back when I mentioned my husband said, you know, mon um, not what day, Sunday, sit down, enjoy the day, stitch, do whatever. Well, that's exactly what I did, and he, he joined me because we flipped that TV on the Netflix, and we finished watching the rest of um, Lost in Space on Netflix. We sat there eight hours, and I loved my whole day. I enjoyed myself. I had this chart right here. This was going to be day number 18, but I moved it up a little bit because I had all day to sit there and stitch. I thought, well, if I'm going to stitch on something, I'm going to stitch on something. A little different because I'm doing Christmas ornaments, you know, little small things. Look here. I promise you, I started this and I started stitching on this and I loved it. And this was a little kit that I got from my store. And you know, see that highlighter? Y'all got to highlight that spot. Had everything included in it. So, yes, I stitched on that thing. So, this was my Mother's Day stitch. That's what I did. I enjoyed myself. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to insert my pictures here and let you see that at the end and just, just go with that. If y'all have any questions or anything, please tag me. Let me know. Uh, put it in the comments section. Anything and anybody that I've mentioned here, I'm going to add them to my comments section so you can go look those ladies up, follow those new ladies, buy from those new ladies. And if you want to join that sale, you're welcome to come on in and uh post some questions about it or whatever we will try to hook you up like i said we got to october so y'all can go ahead and be thinking about it get your stuff on purchase so you can uh work with us and uh, we'll go from there also i'm gonna put, put a picture in of my little chloe at the end and let you see what she looks like as well so anyway ladies gents thank you for coming to visit with me thank you for liking and subscribing to me following me or just you know hanging out i am on instagram and youtube and uh, i do have a facebook it's same you know victoria my my last name is martin m-a-r-t-i-n i am on facebook you're welcome to friend me on facebook i'm in the stitch mania um message board i'm in several of the other cross stitch message boards and stuff on facebook so if you want to hang with me message me there that's fine i have no problem with it so uh please come on and join me and y'all have a wonderful afternoon it's hot here in georgia it's gonna be like 90s again today it's gonna be hot on that school bus oh i forgot to tell you today's tuesday 
Tuesday next week is the last day of school. They're getting out Monday and Tuesday early. They're going to have early release on them middle school kids. They get to get out early. And them little ones don't. The little ones get out at 2 o'clock. But, yes, we have four days and two half days. Four days and two half days. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Those days are coming. I'm going to finally get to sleep till about 6 o'clock. <laughs> So anyway, thank you ladies for coming and joining me and having having a, a moment with me. Enjoy your day. Get some stitchy stuff going on. Follow some other ladies out there. And y'all have a wonderful day. And we will see you next week, God willing. And y'all take care. Be kind to each other. Bye. <laughs>